Oh, my goodness. My daughter is such a mess when it comes to boys. She is not the brightest when it comes to her love life. I mean, the guys are fine, but my mom, she has taken butting into my business to an entirely new level. Her ex-boyfriend? Let's just say he was not attractive. I would say... Ugly? <laughs> Please take that off camera. I mean, I'm not crazy, right? It's my life. She's actually supposed to let me live my life, right? Oh, is this for me? Thank you, guys. That's actually really thoughtful. I love tea. Mm. Whoever put that there, you deserve a raise. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are, are we rolling? What's wrong with your hand? Don't worry about it. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Lakeside, and I was born in London, but I was raised in New York City. And I just have to say that New York's pizza is so much better than the West Coast. I am 27 years old, and well, I am just so looking forward to being with Jessica. I mean, from what I'm seeing, she is the perfect girl for me. Plus, I already know her mom's got an eye for me. That is why I'm so excited about Jared. He is fabulous. But Andrew, he needs to go. Hey everyone, my name's Andrew Williamson. I'm 29 years old. I'm from the Bay Area. West Coast, best coast, baby, let's go. And if you don't know, now you know. You're welcome. I'm really happy to be here. I'm happy I even made it this far, frankly, to be honest with you. Jessica and I have just had the best connection. I really like Andrew. He's sweet and caring. And I think we have a real connection. It's really different from anything I've ever experienced before. Yeah, she's the one, guys. I can feel it in my heart. She's the one. My competition isn't even competition for me. And well, I've already won her heart. <laughs> one second. I'd be cautious of Jared. He seems off, guys. Like, really off. There's something up with him, and I don't know what. I can't talk right now. I have a, I have a mic on me. Shut up. It wouldn't surprise me if he's keeping some kind of secret. He's real reclusive. Who was that on the phone? No one. It's just, uh, my dogs. My, my babysitter for my dogs back home. Always seems like he wants to fight, so... You know, take that however you will. I'm just laying it out as I see it. Man, you can already tell that I won over her mom. I mean, it must suck, right? Having the girl of your dreams fall in love with someone else? Yeah, Jessica's more my type, but you and Sandra deserve each other. Besides, what Jessica and I have, that's a special connection. A connection? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, buddy, but the only connection you have is with yourself. Look, at the end of the day, Jessica's gonna be leaving with me. I mean, at this point, you should just leave. Save yourself the heartbreak. You know, jealousy isn't a very good look on you, man. Besides, leave? There's no threat. You're not even on my radar. I'm not a threat, huh? You're really not scared of me, little Andrew? You know, people that get this close to me, normally want to kiss me or they want to fight. You don't seem like the type that can take me. Oh, that's how it is? Yeah, that's how it is. All right, well then bring it. What are you gonna do? I'm gay. Okay. What are you gonna do? Knock it up, huh? Bring it up, bring it up. All right, cut the camera, cut the camera. And where is my martini that I asked for? Oh, right away, just... Bless you. Is this a dirty martini? With three olives, please. Oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. So, do you prefer Jared over Andrew for your daughter? Absolutely. I mean, he he has zero flaws and he's just such a sweetheart. And a mother, she knows what's best for her daughter. Well, fingers crossed, right? I'm, I'm hoping that she's able to see that I'm really trying to do right by her daughter. I'm, I'm talking about a family, kids, a dog, a mortgage. I just want to provide for her. It's silly, but I think we might even be soulmates. Do you believe in soulmates? I guess you could say that. Hi, hi y'all. 
Isn't my daughter just beautiful? <laughs> um, Mom, I'm literally in the middle of my confessional right now. And what's your point? I mean, it's Jared. We all want her to be with Jared, right? Mom, you are so annoying. Can you please just butt out of my business? Well, excuse me, young lady. You don't need to speak to me that way. Mama knows what's best. Mm. I'm noticing that the lighting isn't proper in here. You promised much more lighting, more cans, more light. And where is my hair and makeup? Okay, okay, let's cut, cut. Right, do it. So, did you make a decision yet? Well, I'm leaning towards Andrew. Our conversations just flow better. We have a lot more in common. And I feel like I've known him for years. You know? What about Jared? Okay, he's, he's tall, he's handsome, and his beautiful curly hair. I mean, oh, and he's an athlete. Okay, but what does that have to do with anything? I mean, just because he's an athlete doesn't mean he's the person I'm meant to be with. Right? Listen, Mom. I want to have a real connection with them. Did you ever have a connection with Dad? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, at one point, but then he got old and old, wrinkly, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we did, and then we didn't. And I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. Okay, well, maybe you didn't have that good of a connection anyway, or else you wouldn't have cared about any of that stuff. Maybe. If anything, I think you're the one who needs help finding a relationship, not me. <laughs> Seriously? I cannot believe my daughter. I mean, she treats me like, like I'm not even important. I just, I don't understand. I mean, look, just trust me. Okay, Jared will take care of you. He's a good guy. And that, that Andrew boy? like a cool mom, you know, like super fab mom. I'm not one of those fuddy-duddy moms. He's like a professor or something. I mean, who wants to date a professor? I don't care, okay? Whether he's a professor or a gardener or a millionaire or a dumpster diver, it doesn't matter. And you know what? I don't think Jared and I have any connection whatsoever. All he does is talk about himself. <laughs> what is the problem with that? Okay, stop controlling my life, okay? No, 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 100% no. I need to think of a way to sabotage Andrew's chances. I've got it. I gotta go. Toodles, I'll be back. Hey, Jared. Oh, hey, Sandra. I really have it in. So, I was hoping I could talk to you about something. Yeah, of course. Anything for Jessica's mom. You're so sweet. So listen, you know I'm not a fan of Andrew's. At all. Whatsoever. And unfortunately, he has lasted much longer than I thought he would. I thought he would be gone the first day, but he's not. Yeah. So it seems that... I have to take matters into my own hands, and I was hoping that perhaps you would help me. Yeah, yeah, of course I will. I mean, not to be rude or anything, but Andrew's kind of a loser. He doesn't deserve Jessica. I mean, if anyone does, it's me. Exactly, exactly. I love your attitude, I swear. I just know you're gonna be so happy with my daughter and you're gonna live happily ever after. Yeah, me too. Today's the day. It has to be Andrew. I am 100% certain after yesterday. I thought you maced me in the face. <laughs> you are just such an amazing guy. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> okay, so I know this is a little silly, mm -hmm. but I just can't help but see my life with you. Really? Well, we're both on the same page. Between how much he cares about my mother's approval and that connection that we have, it's... It's insane. 
I don't think I've ever felt anything like this before. If I had a ring, I'd propose on the spot, like right now. Really? Seriously. I... When I imagine the future that I want to build, in every version of it, you're in it. I just hope your mom comes around eventually. She will. I know she will. You think so? Yeah. She can be a little crazy and dramatic, but I know she only wants what's best for me. She wants me to be happy. So, yes. That's all the reassurance I need. Get over here. <laughs> and I am so grateful to the Real Alum of the Dating Show for bringing the two of us together. I love you. I love you. So, are you nervous to tell him that he is the one? No. Yeah, no. I'm not nervous at all. It just, it feels right. And it feels special. Are you worried about Jared and how he may take the rejection? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. I mean, all of the guys came onto the show looking for love, and they knew that most of them would be sent home. So, I don't know, I hope he takes it well, takes it positively, and... I hope that he finds his love soon, too. I mean, I only wish the best for him. He's a good guy. He's just not the one for me. Wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, there's someone that needs to speak to Jessica immediately. Um, sure. Let them in. Wait, Jessica. Oh. Um, who are you? Do you, do you guys mind? Stop rolling. Um, hi. Uh, my name is Laura. Um, I'm Andrew's ex-girlfriend, and... Jessica, you cannot, you cannot marry him. I am pregnant. And it's his child. He only wanted to get on the show because he thought that it would give him money and clout so that we could support our baby and that we could have the best life for it. But I, I didn't expect it to go this far. I didn't think that he would, he would end up with you. He never said he, that he would take it this far. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Is this a joke? <laughs> Is everyone in on this? Okay. Are you freaking kidding me? No. Are, why are you still filming? Are you serious? Okay, you guys gotta- What the fuck you freaking listen, you vulture? What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's give her some space. <laughs> Cut. Two soft sticks. Hi. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi. Uh, my name is Laura. I am Andrew's ex-girlfriend. Uh, I'm from San Francisco, and we dated for two years. So you are currently pregnant with Andrew's child? Uh, yep. Yep. Very much so. Uh, three months old. Sweetie? Are you okay? You were right, Mom. I hate him. <laughs> Everything I thought we had was a lie. I finally thought I fell in love, but it was all fate. Oh, sweetie, my little pumpkin. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. It's going to be okay, honey. You know, with every heartbreak, there's, there's life lessons. So... Are you going to send him home? Guess you'll just have to find out, Mom. I don't know. For now, I just want to cry and sleep, okay? I love you. I love you. Heartbreak is the worst. Hey, Jess. Whoa. Uh, Laura? What are, you, what are you doing here? Yeah. What is she doing here? Huh? You have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, I want to hear it from you. Uh, back pains, the weird cravings, oh, the mood swings. Oh, you, you, you know how it is. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but 
something just doesn't seem right. Oh, uh, um, why, 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 why would you say that? I, uh, <laughs> is it hot in here? Oh, I'm not feeling well. Maybe I sh sh okay. All right. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, okay. Sandra and Jared called me and asked me to come onto the show and pretend I was pregnant so that Andrew and Jessica would break up because they wanted Jessica and Jared together. He doesn't deserve Jessica. Exactly. So everything was a lie and you are not pregnant with Andrew's child. <sighs> no, I'm not. Was everything we had a lie? What? Was any of it real? Was I just some kind of joke to you because I loved you? Were you really just using me to make me a baby that entire time? Um, um, slow down. What baby? Laura and I, we've been broken up for years. Guys, please, just calm down. None of it was true. It was all fake. I made everything up. Well, technically, your mom made everything up. And she and Jared paid me to come onto the show and pretend I was pregnant so that you would break up with Andrew and then get with Jared. So you took the money, you came all the way here just to get in the way of our happiness? Are you insane? Look, I know, I know it sounds crazy, I know. I'm sorry, I'm really truly sorry, I am. I really am. I just really needed the money and they, they paid me a lot of money. I, I didn't know what to do. I just, I didn't think it would hurt you, but you know what, here, I, I don't even want the money anymore, okay? I just, I watched the show and you both clearly love each other in a way that Andrew and I never had. And I guess I was kind of jealous. And so that's why I decided to do it. But it was wrong. It was so wrong to try to break you guys up. What you guys have, it's special. I never should have broken you up. Never should have gotten in the way of something so special, so perfect. It's great. I'm sorry. This is too much. I need some space. Wow. At least we have some money for the honeymoon. I'm so sorry. I... I should have known. I just... I can't believe my mom. I mean, Jared, I know, wasn't a great guy, but... She's my mom. How could she hurt me like that? I'm so sorry about that. I know you don't like Andrew, but I cannot believe that you would try and hurt your own daughter and take away her happiness just so you can get what you want. What are you talking about? Leave it. Laura told us everything, okay? You and Jared are terrible people. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm your mom, and, and, and I thought I knew what was best. Sweetie, I... I'm so sorry from the bottom of my heart. I, I got a little bit more involved than I should have. But my, my intentions were good. Honey, I know it's going to take a long time to earn your trust back, but I am deeply sorry. You're right. It is going to take a long time. I know you love me, but you crossed a line. Okay? I expect that you are going to work on your relationship with Andrew because he's not going anywhere. He's the one, okay? I know you want what's best, but you need to learn to back down. Let me make my own decisions. Trust that I know what's best for myself. You're, you're right, and and I, I will work on my relationship with Andrew. And I'm so sorry because I know how happy he makes you, and and I try to take that happiness away. I'm so sorry. I hear you. But right now, I need you to give me space. Jeez! Daughters these days!
The last few days have been crazy. Lessons were learned and love was tested, but you know what they say. If it's meant to be, it'll always be. But I wanted to share that I have finally chosen Andrew and we're engaged. <laughs> Jessica and I, we wanted to keep our engagement private considering everything that happened, but... I am absolutely thrilled to have Andrew as part of our family. Oh, he makes my daughter oh so happy, which of course makes me happy. And I cannot wait to get to know him more and get closer. We're both really happy to be moving forward with our lives and looking forward to the next chapter. Oh my gosh, so much has happened, but we're able to sort it all out and find our way back to each other. I have to admit one thing that I have learned through this journey is that sometimes our kids have to make their own decisions and we have to trust them to do what's best. You see? Soulmates, I told you. All I have to say is, you are all gonna regret this. And I hate all of you. And you, Jessica, <laughs> you're gonna regret this the most. I can't. Uh, let's cut. No, no, we're not cutting. Who are you set to leave? I'm not leaving. Get I'm gonna come out. Come you can't out. do this. I'm not leaving. You can't do this. As far as Jared. I'm really glad that he got sent home. He's a really shady dude. I mean, he was not a good guy to begin with. So, are you excited about wedding planning? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's Jessica's department. I will be at the bar, and I hope you'll all be there with me as well. Cheers. <laughs>